there was, was like, there were no expectations on gay marriage back then, right? Like, I don't wear a wedding ring, you know, but well, we're a gay one, but that's different. Uh, I'm Darcy Michael. You should know that because it says it on the door right there. Uh, and uh, we're at the Vogue for Comedy Night at Pride, which I believe is the first time they've done it. But I always feel like whenever I come out to audiences, I should have some profound statement to justify who I am. But like, I'm a regular dude. I like smoking weed, watching hockey, eating chicken wings. It's just afterwards, I'm like, there's something missing. <laughs> for the longest time, I thought it was more ranched it. Turns out it was dick. <laughs> so how'd that go? It was fun. I always get super nervous before shows. Like to this day, I'm just as nervous before my show as I was the first time I performed. And so I'm always backstage being like, oh, these people are gonna fucking hate me. All oh, these people are bitter and jaded. Fuck them. And then like uh, 30 seconds in, I'm like, these are my best friends and I never want them to leave me. Uh, but yeah, no, it was, it was a ton of fun. I got to try out some new stuff and it worked. A couple didn't, so it was good. What didn't work? I don't even remember. Oh, you know what? Body dysmorphia when I talk about that that is my favorite joke I've been trying to get it to work for six months and I think I might just have to stop I have body issues you know like I'm, I'm like every other gay man that's like you know ever since I lost the weight I'm never happy with myself you know I wish I was a straight man because like straight guys are just like well I can fart piss and come and everything's working you know like we're not we're not like that like yeah, it drives me crazy because like, I've lost all this weight, I'm still not as happy, and I went to my doctor, and he told me I have what's called body dysmorphia, which I had never heard of. It's basically where you look in the mirror and you don't see what's physically represented. And he's like, it's body dysmorphia, Darcy, and we'll fix it. And I'm like, don't fix that. Fix how ugly my vagina looks. <laughs> Why do you think people didn't like it? Oh, it's just silly. I think it's just too much of a put together and they're like, you don't have a vagina. Why would you say that? And it's like, I'm being silly. Maybe some people in the audience tonight didn't like that joke because they thought you were disrespecting trans people. Oh God, no. If they did, then they didn't get the joke. People hear triggers and instantly think, oh my God, he said rape. He's talking about being a rapist. And it's like, no, you know, like that's not what's happening. If you actually sit down and look at the words on a piece of paper, that has nothing to do with that. And same with that. Like, body dysmorphia has nothing to do with trans. It's me talking about my body issues, which, you know, like if I was to get down to it, it'd be like, ah, can we fix the fact that my balls sag to my ankles? But nobody wants to picture that. Instead, picture me with a vagina. Gorgeous. The greatest thing ever in our marriage happened earlier this year. We were at a party at Dustin's. I mean, not Dustin's shit. They, he had two types of brownies. He had the normal ones and then the ones without weed. And, uh... <laughs> And I watched as Jared grabbed a weed brownie. And judge me all you want, I'm a fucking terrible husband. I let him drop himself. <laughs> He's got a little lesson. Don't eat food at Dustin's house. Like, are you dumb? I always love telling that story about Jared getting stoned. Because people, people can relate to it. Everyone's accidentally eaten a pot brownie before, right? Uh, it's probably one from Dustin. Uh, I mean, not Dustin. Sorry, buddy. Uh, if you need his number, he's on my Twitter. And so we're driving down our little country road, and there's a police roadblock. They're looking for drunk drivers or stone drivers. I'm not worried. I'm driving. Didn't drink anything. Didn't smoke anything. We're fine. Something in Jared's head fucking snaps. He thinks they're going to see his munchies and know that he, as a passenger, is on marijuana. So what does he do? He starts dumping shit out the window. Everything's got to go, buddy. And the penny, he's like, oh, the Snickers, you son of a bitch. And the cops are like, pull over. I'm like, really? Why? They pull me over. They pull me out of the car. Thank God it's Ladner. We know the cop. He's like, what is going on with Jared? I'm like, Jared Stone. He's like, Jared Stone? I'm like, I know it's the best time of my life. I go. Well, that's the thing. Grabs the baton off his belt, runs over to Jared's side of the car, starts rapping on the door. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing with your life? It took me three weeks to get a smell of piss out of my car. Still, best night ever. When I first met you, you were the undercover fag. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, then you became skinny bitch. Skinny bitch, yeah, skinny bitch, and now it's just comfort. Comfort gay is what I'm calling this level. It's like, meh, fuck it. I'm not gonna eat as much, but I'm still gonna eat. It's like, I don't know what's next, but it, uh, I'm, this, I'm digging this guy. He doesn't have to go to the gym near as much as skinny bitch. Uh, the other guy, Fat Darcy, my God, he was fun. He was exhausting, but fun. We got a lot of TV watched in the 20s, in my 20s, you know? It was TV and KFC. They literally closed the KFC in Ladner. I lost 120. <laughs> it's great to be here, it's great to be home, I've been touring a lot, I, I'm excited. I, uh, I don't know if you guys can see my hand shaking right now, I'm not nervous, I have two TV shows I could give a fuck. <laughs> What is this new show? Tell us about it. It's called Darcy. It's a multi-cam sitcom, so it'll be in the vein of most, like you know, like uh, Roseanne and Home Improvement. That kind of that's the 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 style we're going for. Uh, and it's literally like we're pulling from my real life, and we're pulling from my stand-up. Like most of the episodes are based on jokes. There's definitely an episode based on Jer getting stoned at a party and stuff. Uh, but it's a long way away, you know, like it's a slow process, we're not rushing the writing and that's the first step and then, you know, hopefully one day someone will be like, you know, like CTV will be like, now it's ready for TV and we'll be like, <laughs> I'm so scared. Here's the best way I could describe his sex life. I was at the pharmacy and the pharmacist looked familiar. So I texted him going, hey, have you ever dated an Asian pharmacist named Alan that works at London Drugs on Davy Street? And he replied going, can you be more specific? <laughs> Is there any topic you won't touch? I wouldn't touch people that touch children. That, you know, like, there's some things like, and I've heard brilliant comedy on pedophilia. Uh, not that it should be laughed at, but there's some people that have made it funny, and not funny about the actual act, but about pedophiles and stuff. But it's something that I just, I'm not interested in talking about, but everything else, let's, let's dig in. Thank you very much.